All right, guys, I'm going to show you some of these features on our graphing calculator that we talked about in class. Um, so first of all, we're going to do a scatter plot. So we're at, I don't know if we just go to the, to the home screen here. Okay, uh, we're going to hit the stat button. We're going to put our points in our scatter plot. <clears throat> um, and then we'll talk about how to do the linear regression, um, all those things. So let me just clear mine uh, to make sure we're good to go. Um, okay. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna hit stat. That takes you to this screen, you're gonna hit edit, or it's already on edit, so you hit enter. Okay, so now on my screen, I've already had some points in there, and I left this here on purpose because I wanted to show you how to clear this. So to clear this, if you just go over here and hit clear, nothing happens. So you gotta go up to where it says L1, hit clear, and then hit enter, right? Now everything goes away. So now here's where in L1 you would put your X values. So one of the problems we did in class, we had these X values. So I'm just putting in the number and hitting enter. Okay, so 2, 3.7, 4.2, 1.9, 3.1, 2.5, 4.4, and 3.9. Okay, so now I go over here. Now I'm going to put in my, the corresponding Y values. So we had 60, 83, 84, 58, 72, 62, 85, and 85, okay? So now, depending on what our numbers are, we might need to, to adjust the window of our calculator or what we see on the screen. So the window button is right here. If I look at my X values, those are relatively small, so I don't need to adjust the window, okay? The standard window on your graph, so if I go zoom six, zoom standard, the standard window is from negative 10 to 10 on the X axis, and from negative 10 to 10 on the y-axis. Well, if you see here, I can't see any of my points, right? So if I go back to my, um, my, my plot here, my <coughs> x values are all between zero and 10, so I don't need to adjust my x min or x max. But my y values, the smallest y value is 58, and the largest is 85. So I need to adjust my y max and y min so that I can see my data points. So my smallest number is 58, so I'm gonna say, I want my Y axis to start at 50, and my largest number is 85, so I want my Y axis to um, show me from 50 to 90. So hit window, don't worry about X, go down here to Y. Okay, so right now it's at negative 10, that's the standard. I want this to be 50, and I want my maximum to be 90. Okay, so now that's gonna show me a different section of my graph. So now I hit the button that says graph, and now I have my scatter plot. Okay, so there's my points. All right, now, um, if yours don't show, then here's what you need to do. So if you get to this point and there's no points on your graph, you need to hit the second button. You need to hit zero. That'll take you to this thing called the catalog. You're gonna hit the down arrow and you're gonna go all the way down until you see what's called diagnostic on. So just a little bit of, of a ways here. And here we go. So you're gonna hit diagnostic on, you're gonna hit enter, you're going to hit enter again, and now it says done. So now at this point, if you hit graph again, it should take you, and now the point should be there, okay? So you should never have to do that again. You just need to turn that on one time. Sometimes calculators just don't have that on, okay? So now what I want to do is I want to find my line of best fit, or I want to use the linear regression feature on my calculator, okay? So to do that, we're, we're right here at our scatter plot. We're going to hit stat again, so stat. Now I'm going to go over to where it says calc. Okay, so these are some things that I can calculate about this scatter plot. Okay, notice where it says linear regression AX plus B. AX plus B is in slope intercept form. So that's the one we want to use. So you're going to hit enter. It brings you to this screen. All you do now is go down to where it says calculate and you're going to hit enter again. And now it should show you this screen right here. <clears throat> so now this tells us three things. The A value is our slope. So here we would say our slope is approximately 12. Our B value is our Y-intercept. So we would say here the, the B value is approximately 35. The rounding might be different depending on what the question asks you to do. They might say round to the nearest whole number, round to the nearest tenth, hundredth, whatever. R squared we will ignore. Don't worry about R squared. R is what we look at. R is called the correlation coefficient. This is 0.97. The closer this number is to one, the stronger the correlation, the closer the points are to the line, meaning that the line is a very good fit, 
okay, to our data points. If this is a positive number, our um, correlation is positive. If this is a negative, our correlation is negative correlation, okay? The closer this number is to one or negative one, the stronger the correlation. The closer it is to zero, the weaker the correlation, okay? So now what I could do here is now that I have my equation, <clears throat> I could graph this to show this line of best fit. So I'm gonna graph 12x plus 35. So I hit y equals, and I go 12x plus 35, and I hit graph. And now it should show my line going through those points, and now that's the line of best fit, okay? Now, a couple other troubleshooting items. If I go back here to y equals, notice how up here my plot one is highlighted, right? If that is not highlighted, look what will happen. My plot does not show, okay? So that's another way if your plot doesn't show, if your scatter plot doesn't show, hit Y equals, go up to where it says plot one, hit enter, and that basically turns it on. So now if you hit graph, those points are there, okay? <clears throat> one other troubleshooting item. When I find the linear regression, stat, calc, linear regression, and I hit calculate down here, if this does not show, if the R does not show, okay, that's the diagnostic on feature. So if you follow that direction at the very beginning, then this should be there, okay? If not, then it's second catalog, or second zero, and you go down where it says diagnostic on, and you turn that on, and then this should show up, okay? One other thing that we talked about is the trace feature, okay? So if I go back to graph, and let's say I wanna trace, or I wanna find a value that's on this line, right? <clears throat> so let's say I want to use extrapolation where I'm trying to um, predict something that's going to happen in the future. So the first thing that I do when I hit trace, if I have my plot up here, it takes me to my plot. Well, I want to trace my line, so I'm going to hit the up arrow. So now I am on my line. Okay, so now what this tells me down here are the coordinates that are on this line, so 0, 35. So now I can use the right directional arrow to move along my line. Okay, so now you see this you know, whatever it is, the star looking thing, tracing along my line, and it's telling me what my coordinates are. So the question, one of the questions we looked at in class was when x was five, what is y? Well, off our scatter plot, our scatter plot only went to 4.4, right? So we're making an estimation based on, you know, the trend of the data. So I wanna go up here to where um, x down here says five, and there it is. So now it says y is equal to 95. So we could estimate or predict based on the trend of our data. Okay, so that's how you use the features on your calculator.